Praise God. Praise the Lord. Welcome, everyone. This is just um, a short prayer. I want to quickly pray with us to end the three-day fast. I, I know quite a few people joined in the fast that the Lord re um, required that we do the last three days of the year. And so the Lord prompted me to also come back on the third day to say a short prayer and post it. Um, with a few scriptures just so we can pray in our own time whenever we break our fast today. Um, Happy New Year in advance, by the way. Welcome back to A Word in Season. My name is Effa. God bless you. Um, this is a prayer, so it's just going to be prayer all through. But I'll start by reading a scripture from the book of Lamentations, the book of Lament Lamentations chapter 3, um, verse 22 to 25. It says, the faithful love of the Lord never ends. His mercies never cease. Great is his faithfulness. His mercies begin afresh each morning. I say to myself, the Lord is my inheritance. Therefore, I will hope in him. The Lord is good to those who depend on him, to those who search for him. Amen. It's just a declaration, and I want each one of us to say it and read it. Even as you see the title, it says, Great is His faithfulness. The faithfulness of God is so great. God is awesome. God is mighty. And as we bring our, our waiting on Him to a close, that scripture says that He is good to those who wait on Him. He doesn't fail us. He doesn't disappoint us. And the Lord just gave me a, a few other scriptures. I'll leave them in the description box. But one of them is Isaiah 66. God says to tell us who have waited on him in these three days and those who have waited even if they didn't fast in any way but they've been waiting on the Lord for a promise they've been waiting on the Lord for judgment for deliverance for freedom for change change in the things going on around the world a lot of people are praying hard and God is saying to tell you that I will not bring you to the point of birth and not deliver you I will not see your pain and not send help I will not put into a burden forever. Isaiah 66 and verse 9, it says, Will I ever bring this nation to the point of birth and then not deliver it? Ask the Lord. No, I will never keep this nation from being born, says your God. God is saying to us, my brother and sister, it's just the, the nation is not just talking about the nation, but you as an individual, because of all the people you're about to deliver, you're a nation as well. And God is saying to us, he will not bring us through all he has brought us through for nothing. He will deliver. He will save. He is taking you into your breakthrough. He is taking you into your land. And God keeps repeating the same promise to us, the same scriptures to us. God is saying to us in the book of Amos chapter 9. Amos chapter 9. And from verse 11, and I'll just quickly read that for us. He says, In that day I will restore the fallen house of David. I will repair its damaged walls. From the ruins I will rebuild it and restore its former glory. And Israel will possess what is left of Edom and all the nations I have, I have called to be mine. The Lord has spoken and he will do these things. And I'll... Verse 13 says, the time will come, says the Lord, when the grains and the grapes will grow faster than they can be harvested. And the terraced vineyards on the hills of Israel will drip with sweet wine. I want us to try and read the message version. That version is so much more clear and sweeter. I don't have that Bible with me right now. But that version says that things will happen so fast your head will swim. One thing will happen fast on the hills of the other. God is just declaring to us that he's coming to rebuild, he's coming to restore. He's coming to do all that he has spoken and promised and declared that he will do. And God is saying, I've heard your cry. Even after these three days, I have seen your heart. He says, you have not just sought me for things, but you have sought my face for me, for the kingdom. God says to tell each one of us who have sought him that he is coming in this 2021 to fill us, to pour out his spirit, to give us his power, to give us everything we need, the boldness, the keys to success, the keys.
keys to be able to take nations and take territory. God says, I will give you those keys. Remain in my presence. Remain in me. I have heard you. I have seen your heart. Because God looks at on the heart and not on the outside. And so I bless God for each one of us. I lift us up into the Lord's hands even as we march into a new year, 2021. Yes, there will be a lot, a lot of things, you know, still going on in the world that will baffle people, things that will, will, will have people living in, in fear and wondering what next. But God is saying to tell us if we remain in him, if we stick to him, every promise we will see manifest. God says, stay with me. Do not depart from my presence. Do not depart from my friendship. God says, let a holy fear be upon you in this year that we are entering because it's only in me and with me and by me that you will survive what is to come because God is saying I'm also passing my judgment through the nations, through the people. I'm passing through with my judgment and I will do those things that I have spoken of, those things that seem far away. God says that time has now come. And so I bless God for giving each one of us the grace to wait on him. I know that a lot, a lot more people are going to you know, wait in the new year, but I ask us to wait as led by the Spirit of God. Don't do anything out of routine. Don't do anything um, you know, out of a religiosity, but do things as the Spirit of God moves you to do them. And I pray that as we wait on him, as we trust in him, as we glorify his name, we'll begin to see the manifestation of his power and of his glory. In the name of Jesus, I bless God. I commit us into the Lord's hands. I soak each one of us in the blood of God, the Lord Jesus Christ. And once again, I say congratulations because it's coming to my spirit. Congratulations. God bless you all. Please remember to join me live on Sunday the 3rd at 4 p.m. Eastern Time. And that is um, 3 p.m. Central Time. And that's 1 p.m. Pacific Time. So please join me on Sunday at 4 p.m. 4.30 actually, 4.30 p.m. Um, I'll be going live, right, for us to just commit the year into the Lord's hands. God bless you. Have a wonderful day. Remember to subscribe to the channel. Remember to hit the like button. That's the thumbs up. And um, share this video with everyone. God bless you. Have a wonderful day.